multi-purpose. Obviously, I'm testing out the hammock seat. I'm taking along with me, give you my first impressions. And then also showing you the beautiful area while I'm out of here so you can enjoy the views. All right, first time I'm gonna sit on this Harley hammock seat. Let's see. Ooh, that's comfortable. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel, Flying Right Here. In today's video, I'm gonna take you with me and uh, head over to uh, Shoreline uh, Harley-Davidson where I actually bought my uh, 2020 Streetlight CVO Sand Dune. I've been uh, looking at the hammock seat by Harley-Davidson. There's been uh, several mentions of it. Several of the YouTubers that I follow, Barber CVO 19, check them out, and some others have the hammock and uh, Mike Moto actually installed it on his and uh, loves it. If you're new to the channel, in this channel, I focus on motor vlogs, rides, upgrades, reviews, all on my 2020 Street Glide CVO Sand Dune right here. And I also fly a DJI Mavic 2. And in almost every video, I'll try to incorporate a ride and a flight with the drone as well as the motorcycle. Hence, my channel name is uh, Flying Ride. So do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And uh, remember to hit that bell icon so you can be reminded of, of future uh, of future videos. So um, I'm gonna go check it out. Cool thing is uh, that the dealer allows you to um, allows you to test it out, take it for a ride. And I'm not gonna keep it for a while. I'm just gonna go and uh, switch out mine. I still have the stock CVO seat on mine, and I actually love the uh, stock CVO seat. I love the look of it. But uh, I ride with my uh, my wife a lot too up. And uh, we could use more comfort, especially for longer rides and longer distances. And uh, the uh, the hammock seat has gotten really good reviews. So we're gonna go over there and swap out the seat, check it out. And uh, I will uh, also give you a real-time review. My overall impressions, my first impressions. I am using the, uh, the Scenic motorcycle navigation app. Generated a curvy road. So it's taking me through all the back roads, most curvy roads to get there. Uh, in the latest video, I'm gonna put a link up here or up here. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I give you some initial thoughts of that app. And uh, again, I've been using the app now. Um, the next two weeks, I'm gonna do a full review on the app. But I think it's pretty cool that uh, no matter where you're going, you can click it, tell it to give you a, a curvy road and it's gonna take you in the most scenic curvy roads to get to your actual location. So that's how it's taking me now. You know, usually I would have taken the highway. I would have been there very quickly. So I uh, I chose to uh, to go this route. One, to, to check the app. And then two, just to enjoy the ride. It's beautiful out. This area here is uh, Red Bank. I don't know if you can see it that way. They closed that main street off now. Got a bunch of restaurants and shops. Really nice area to hang out, go eat, have some drinks. This is uh, Red Bank Middle School right here. Like I also committed to in my last video, on almost every ride that I uh, go out, I'm gonna take you to one of the many parks that Monmouth County has to offer. Send out the drone and give you some cinematic views of the area while I'm out for the ride. So I must have missed a turn back there while I was talking to you and um, it just recalculated. So more scenic routes, another park back there. noticing this uh, cable here that I use to uh, charge my phone I want to give a special thanks to Ty from Tennessee if you haven't go check out his channel awesome guy awesome channel he actually uh, had this on his ride and I uh, reached out to him asked him about his bars which I'm also considering and also this uh, this cable which I thought was pretty cool because it's black and you can hardly tell it's there and uh, it works great so Thanks, Ty. I appreciate the recommendation. Make sure you go check out his channel. He's got a beautiful 2021 Streetlight CVO. So go check him out. That's a cool Land Rover. So the interesting part 
part about the again this app that I've been using I've been to this dealer I don't know ten times and I've never gone to this dealer the way that it's actually taken me so it historic Fort Monmouth cool so it's uh, again allowing you to explore other parts even in the same area where you live which I uh, which I think is pretty cool paddleboard and kayak ocean port paddle uh, paddle club so they rent boats I think jet skis right there you can see it is really cool So before we go in and switch this out, I wanted to give you what it looks like so you can really see it. That's the stock CVO seat that came with the bike, 2020 Streetlight CVO in Sand Dune. I mean, I really like the seat, but looking for something more comfortable. So let's go in there and check it out. The... Yeah, I see what you mean. All right, there it is. You know what? I actually think it makes the bike look like stockier and beefier. Obviously, because the seat is much higher and thicker than the other one. I'm really liking the way it looks, especially if I uh, get a nice custom leather job on the actual seat which i'm uh, considering i think it'll look really nice again let me know down in the comments below all right first time i'm gonna sit on this harley hammock seat let's see Ooh, that's comfortable so i'm still good i'm still flat-footed i'm 510 you can tell i can reach perfectly it feels a lot more comfortable for sure doesn't really change the uh, seating position, at least from what I can tell right now. Like when I'm hitting the gas, I feel like I'm going back more than I was in my stock seat. I'm not sure why, because this has uh, more back support. So again, maybe it's just some getting used to. I'm liking the way it feels when I hit that throttle. It almost feels like it's pushing me away from the seat. I haven't felt that with my uh, with my stock seat. For two up, for sure, it looks like it's a heck of a lot more comfortable. So uh, it definitely feels more plush, which I like. Only thing I'm not liking about it is how it feels when I hit the throttle. It's like pushing me back in a way that uh, I'm not crazy about. This is the cool thing about the Harley Davidson. It's allowing you to test out the seat so you can get a feel for it and really make a decision. So uh, nice job. What I'm not crazy about is this notion that I got to take these things off. And uh, what I want, obviously, is to be able to switch out the two seats between my stock seat and this one. But the fact that he's telling me that I have to remove these uh, rubber uh, cushions underneath, that's no bueno. I got to be honest with you, it's going to have to be a no for now. I may have to keep it uh, for a few days, get my wife to test it out and uh, make a decision. But right now it's a, uh, it's a tentative leaning towards no. So you see that slant there? 
That's what I'm feeling when I'm, uh, I'm hitting the throttle. It's like pushing me back for some reason. Yeah, I think I like my stock seat and how it feels. I mean, yeah, the other one is way more, uh, way, way more cushiony. So again, let me know your comments down below, but uh, it's gonna have to be a negative for now. And again, do me a favor, if you like this video, Smash that like button, it really helps out the channel. Subscribe, and uh, remember to hit that bell icon so you can be reminded of future videos. Let's send off the drone. Thanks for watching.